What's up YouTube, Kenny here, and today we're going to be continuing on our Minecraft series of tutorials. Now today, we're going to be talking about how to make a multi-world bucket server. Now this is great for a number of reasons, and I'm excited, you guys are excited, so let's go ahead and start this. So, <clears throat> first thing you want to go to is the first link in the description. Well actually, I don't know if it's going to be the first link, but you know, it's in there. It'll be titled, so all these links will be there. Just letting you guys know. Go ahead and download this over here along with the portals download here and but on this tutorial we're not going to be talking about these two nether portals or sign portals if you guys are interested go ahead and send me an email mrcomputeranswers at gmail.com and I'll go ahead and make a video showing you guys how to use those um, and also I just want to say this uh, does use permission so you guys can go ahead and figure that out and there's a giant list of commands that will be in the description also so you guys can check that out and <coughs> Because we we don't go over everything in this tutorial, just just the basics and enough to get you get you started. So here's Minecraft. Uh, so once those two uh, jars have downloaded, as you guys have probably guessed, you're gonna drag them into your plugins folder. We are continuing with the same server we have been the whole uh, time, I guess. Go ahead and start up your server. <coughs> And we are going to be logging in. And here we are. So now let's go ahead and create our first world. Now, Multiverse makes this really easy to do. All you have to do is type in slash MV create, or for short, you can go ahead and type in slash MVC, and then the name of your world. So let's go ahead and call this build. And what type? There's a few different types, but I'm going to use normal. There's also nether and end, but once again, there is more. Go ahead and say or hit enter, and it will start the creation. And what this is actually doing is here you can see it's creating a whole new spawn area, and that's creating a whole new world folder, just like your other ones. It's quite interesting how they do that. Now, you're probably thinking, well, what if I was to drag a world in here? Or what if I have a single player world that I want to put in this server? Well, of course you can do that. Now it's really easy. All you have to do is go and to your world save, your folder. So I'm going to go to my saves and use this here. Go ahead and drag it into this tutorial server folder or wherever that might be. And then you're going to want to restart your server. So let's restart it, start it back up, close that out. And so now we're set. Go ahead and log back in. And so now, Multiverse is ready to accept that new world. So, in order to do that, we're going to type in MV import and the name of the world. And it's got to match this exactly. So, Kenny. And then, once again, you do need to provide what type of world it is. So, it's just going to be a normal world. Hit enter, and it should start the import. Now, it could get laggy during this time. So, lag is normal. So now you guys are like, so great, we've got these two worlds here. Now how, how do we get there? So that's really easy. Multiverse provides a few different ways of doing this. One of the ways is by TPing. So let's go ahead and go to World Kenny. So you can do slash MVTP and the world name. And it'll bring you to the world. So now we're in Kenny. We can go ahead and TP to build world. Now we're in build world. So, that was interesting. And once again, you can give people permissions, so then only certain people can use that command. Now, let's go ahead and use portals to get from uh, one place to another place in one world. You're able to do, use this same technique to get between worlds. So let's go ahead and build our first portal. Now there is spawn protection on it, and you can change this in the server properties. So let's go ahead and build our first portal. I'll go ahead and skip over this. Okay, so now that we've uh, made our first portal, what we're going to want to do now is select it. Now this is really easy to do, and if you don't already have this wand out, you can go ahead and get it by typing in slash MVP wand. And make sure you want to spell it right. There we go. Now we've got a wand. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and clear my inventory and do that command again. Just 
better to work with the clear inventory. And if you do have world edit, using the world edit wand by doing this command will work too. So let's go ahead and select our portal. Left click to get your first selection and right click to get your second. Now it's kind of like a square. It'll select every block in between there. So now that we have, have our first portal selected, let's go ahead and make sure that Multiverse knows it's a portal. This is really e easy to do. All you need to do is slash MVP create. So Multiverse portal create and then your portal name. So let's call this portal ugly. And we don't have any anywhere to set its destination to yet. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit enter. There we go. We've, we have our first portal. But if you go through it, nothing happens. So, if we go over to our other portal, which by the way, you can make these portals in any shape that you want, out of any block that you want. Um, so, let's go ahead and select our second portal. And you can see we can just select this area if we want, or if we wanted, we can go ahead and select the, a bigger area of it by just extending this out and selecting this whole area and we can delete these blocks if you want to that's cool um, <laughs> let's go ahead and create this portal let's call this portal ugly 2 the second version of ugly but still nothing so right now we do have if you look in the chat Portal Ugly 2 has been created and selected. That's important. You want to make sure you always know what portal you have selected currently. So, Portal Ugly 2 is selected right now. So, let's go ahead and change its destination to Portal Ugly 1. Or just Portal Ugly. So, that's easy. Just MVP, modify, DST, the position to Portal Ugly. Enter. Bam, there we go. And if we go through, it brings us right to Portal Ugly. However, if we go through Portal Ugly, it doesn't do anything. At least yet. Now remember, which portal is selected? That portal is selected right now. But we don't have this portal selected. Now, to select this portal, you do slash, or slash MVP, VP, and same as last time, modify destination to portal ugly too and now if you go through this portal it brings you to this one bring go to this one same thing so now we have a working loop of portals however if you notice when you go through it you're facing the wrong way I don't want to be facing this way so let's go and make you face a certain direction so let's say after we go through this portal so portal ugly we want to end up facing this way right here in the middle ish so make sure that that was the last portal that you used or just make sure that it's selected and then you're gonna do slash mv pm dst here so it's gonna set the destination of portal ugly to the exact spot you are and the direction you're facing so if you go ahead and hit enter now if we go through this portal nothing st still but if we go through this one now we're facing this way but if let's say we want to set this this portal when you go through it to face this way that's easy enough just make sure you select that portal make, I think I put two spaces in there yeah portal ugly too and now same exact thing MV PM DEST here. Now, when you go through each portal, they have a destination set. Just like that. And the same technique can be used for mo uh, go to each world. So, I could go ahead and demonstrate for that for you. So, I'll go ahead and cut and make another portal. Okay, so now that I've finished building both of these, I'm just going to go ahead and do exactly as I did before. So, select the portal. And then we're just going to go ahead and create it. And since there's no uh, position to set it to, we won't do that yet. And we'll go to 
the other world right now and I've already built another portal here go ahead and select it but this time we're gonna set the destination property uh, in all in the same line it's a lot faster so portal Kenny and we're gonna set it to portal build so this portal is gonna go back to the other world right to that portal and go ahead and hit enter and now this portal will work just like that but this one still won't because remember we have not set the destination property yet so in order to do that we have to select it and then now we can set it there we go now as we go through each one it will bring you to the other world just like that and you can do that with any world and there's a whole bunch more you can do with this plugin a whole lot more commands once again that list will be in the description but I'm not gonna go over that right now but uh, let's say you wanna set the spawn just for this world to be right here that's really easy to do all you do is slash mv set spawn now if we go back let's say over here spawns over there now we do mv spawn brings you back over here however there's a very important difference I wanna make sure you guys understand slash mv spawn brings you to the spawn of the world that you are in slash spawn will bring you to the original spawn of the server so that will be back in the uh, world named world that was created with your server so let's go to go ahead and go to build world now and set the spawn there so let's say we, we want to have the spawn be over here so mv set spawn and then we can go over here and as you see when we do spawn it'll bring us over here not to the server spawn um, let's say that we no longer need this portal let's just get rid of it I don't well not really because just deleting it won't get rid of it it still will be there if you notice if we go through this same spot it's still there which could be really bad but yet could be very useful for some things like making some secret portals no one knows about that's useful but let's say we just don't want it then we do slash MVP remove and then the name of the portal and it's gone so now if we go through here nothing happens that's a great tip for you guys now also let's say we don't want an entire world there you can do slash mv uh, delete and the name of the world now this will permanently delete it and it will, will remove this whole entire folder and put it to wherever it deletes its folders and I don't believe it's the trash so don't expect to find it again if you do delete it if you want to keep this world and use it again copy it and paste it into some sort of backup place so let's say I do this and then MV confirm and it's gone so if you go look back here Kenny is completely gone if we try and go and TP to it doesn't know so guys that is about it for this tutorial I hope you take what it with from it what you can and I hope you did learn a lot and you can make your server a lot better with this plugin if you guys like this video you can go ahead and subscribe it really does help out and sorry for not responding to all those emails I think I've got like 60 ish 70 maybe right now because I was sick and I haven't been able to respond to them really sorry for that I'll get right on it um, but for now I'm Kenny, and I'll see you next time.